from a, this, so neurotransmitters, uh, many have been implicated in disease and it really depends uh, on what paper you read. So th there's, you could pick a neurotransmitter and out there somewhere is a paper that shows that that, that neurotransmitter is affected. Uh, glutamate we know is the major neurotransmitter involved in long-term potentiation, LTP, and it's thought that LT LTP is the mechanism for formation of memory. So glutamate has really been a big focus for Alzheimer's for obvious reasons, that if we can maybe um, in, uh, enhance the glutamate effect, we might enhance memory. But the problem is if you have too much glutamate, you can actually kill the neuron because they get overexcited. Uh, something called excitotoxicity. So we have to be very careful with glutamate and glutamate is really globally um, expressed through the brain. It's one of the major transmitters in the brain. So we have to be careful with that. I mean, another one is serotonin, but serotonin is involved in a lot of, of uh, behavior, depression. Um, and we know that there's some emotional uh, issues later on in Alzheimer's disease, kind of middle to late stage Alzheimer's disease. And so treatment at that stage of those, with those patients uh, with antidepressants that would target serotonin does seem to be beneficial for the emotional aspect of the disease, uh, more so the memory. Um, the other neurotransmitter is something called neuropeptide Y, NPY, and this seems to be important for blood flow. Um, and so if we can increase blood flow in the brain, uh, possibly this would, um, you would, you would be providing more oxygen and, and more nutrients to the brain to make it, um, healthier. Uh, but really, there's no good understanding as far as is, is it one population. In Parkinson's disease, we know that it's the dopaminergic neurons that are specifically affected. It's a very small part of the brain. And so trying to regenerate those or put back that neurotransmitter um, is really a, a very clear goal in Parkinson's disease. But in Alzheimer's disease, it, it's not that clear cut.